So, um, sorry, it don't sound well. I don't introduce myself, you introduce me. So I don't even did the introduction, so start again, introduce me. As per what? As per the Idon. Hey, it's okay. And so the general of... What the hell is Idon? The Idon, Idon, Idon group. Idon, Idon, Idon a boss, Idon a boss. Guys, so introduce me. Idon Samuel John. And I am Faith Joseph. We are happy to have you today on the show. You are welcome to another episode of Flag I can't wait to start talking about this episode. We are going to talk about the challenges and trials of Nigerian youth as they trans transition into adulthood. This topic is so big because people try to people underestimate moving from teenager to adulthood. Yeah. So much changes in your life in that space of how many years? You guys, let's start talking about the challenges they face because this is not this is not a small topic. Yeah. It's not a small topic. That's why, I'm like, and it affects me. It affects you. It, it affects, affects every every every, every, every young person in Nigeria. Every, everybody that is in school right now that is going to graduate. Graduate like, self. It is crazy. So when we talk about the challenges affected by Nigerian youth, there's a there's a particular um, um, aspect that comes to my mind like immediately, like. Talking about, <coughs> excuse me, the rate of unemployment. Talking about the educational, um, the education system, the transition from the education system okay. to workforce. Then talking about how Nigerians who are graduates, who have studied studied a particular course in the university, coming out and getting a job that doesn't even align with what they studied in school. So you know, it will be struggle for them. It will be a struggle for them. Sorry, it will be a struggle for them, and it will be hard for them to adapt. So the other thing that they're doing that is not even going the same way with their field. Mm -hmm. So it will be hard for them. Definitely. And that we live in that kind of we live in that situation where eighty percent of graduates are not are not even doing what they're studying. Actually, it's crazy. And the education system it feels like it's failing us. Are we are we, like, are we talk briefly in that and then move to um, unemployment? You see this whole not studying. See, even my father is a living proof. Studying accounting. And then he, the, the organization where he worked, he was working under the electrical stuff. Wow. Like, how does that even correlate? <laughs> like, in this country, how does it even from the moment you are born, you have to be a survivor. You yes, no, for survive. sure, for sure. Because, and then unemployment, unemployment hits so big. It hits so big because, without yourself, because we have of, millions of graduates, graduates, exactly. with limited jobs. And you know the way everybody, see, this life is planning, planning your life. You say, okay, 20 years, I'll be done with school, 21, hmm. remember, you remember, you remember that song that, that's trending? The <laughs> imagination. Because that whole imagination, imagination was, I swear. God, I just remember when you're like saying all those things. First of all, if, if unemployment doesn't meet you, Strike will meet you. Yes. So those As four years. After, so after the year, you can't do what you can't do. So you you must teacher. meet some one obstacle. Or the other. As a well, even at the end, crazy. at the end of everything, even after going through the education, you serve. You come off and then you're not after the service year. You're not seeing something because they might not even retain you where you serve, mm. and then you now start looking for job. And white colour, white like, colour. You go out and go, you, go, the we have. you go from 33k to zero. <laughs> just like that. Less than a year. No now is it true? Actually, yeah, it's true now I was reading as, I, it's actually true because I remember seeing one tweet about saying one girl saying about how she entered depression once NYC was over because she went from receiving a certain amount to nothing. So nothing. And it's she was like it's so funny how parents once you do NYC they just the, just the, yeah, you know, you. Like, once like, you graduate, they just just you. Like, like, it's like once you graduate, NYC yeah. is going to be paying you for 3k. And once you are done, NYC is not paying, you're not paying, ha. Huh. That is it. And then they now expect you to start getting a job. Okay, start contributing at home, start, start helping financially. And then they now feel everywhere. like it's this um, traditional societal norms that you should have a 9 to 5 job. This kind of thing, uh, especially the government's own. Like, okay. like, <laughs> like when Chris I was in school, very angry like, today. You know, she, she, was, she had a lot to because unleash. The topic but is we'll be back. We'll be back after the break because there's so many things to talk about. <laughs> Welcome back, 
Welcome back guys and we're still on today's topic talking about the challenges and triumphs faced by Nigerian youth as they transition into adulthood and we're talking about the triumph about the challenges and they face a lot of challenges but let's not just talk about the bad we're not, we're not toxic here mm -hmm. because we have so many amazing Nigerian youth doing different things in different sectors of, yeah. of everywhere so let's talk so about, let's talk about it because there are many talking about good you guys look good this morning ah. Michael, thank you. Thank you. Say it again. You be yeah, it done. I don't doesn't need compliments. Compliment comes. No, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Uh, let's continue. Let's <laughs> continue. So talking about. Please, let's talk about the, the youth that actually doing well yes, in this yes, country. Yes, yes, yes. Please, okay. let's let's inspire people because you know, let's not talk about the bad. Yeah, let's talk about the good also. So you know, despite all the challenges, we have a lot of youths who have shown like their entrepreneurial skills and spirits, like showing that. Without the government yes, or with the government, Patricia. I can stand on my own. And they've created, they've created job opportunities. You and the CEO of Patricia. CEO Pat Look at B Lord, <laughs> the guy who like he created an app that like people outside got interest in, and they came to offer him a open sum of ten million dollars, and rejected it because he was looking at the future of the app. And this is Nigeria. So like, because you don't have a job with the government, doesn't mean you can't create a job opportunity. Mm -hmm. Look at the CEO of Patricia. <laughs> Patricia. That is a crush. If you are watching this video, I'm going to take our sister. <laughs> Jesus, 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 Jesus. Really? He's me some No, no, no. He's selling your market. Selling yes, your market. now. <laughs> At least he really? comes now. Get it's my own share from this. I'm single, child. <laughs> really, you see, um, this entrepreneurship stuff yeah. is, is something that is giving you a great head start in strategy to Nigeria. See, now I'll say myself now. Like me. Yes, I went to learn in school. Yes, when we're having all this astral strike, so I want something and I don't have to bake. You get? Mm -hmm. So right now, tomorrow, I won't sit down waiting for a 9 to 5 job. I can bake. Let's even look at the amazing, amazing Nigerian youth that are they're literally putting us on the map because it, it feels like it's them that are putting us on the map. Really? Because well, we have like, the likes of Whiskey. Music, do. music. Mm -hmm. that's music that's no, 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 in sports, yeah. also just look at Victor. Victor, see him, what's his name? See Victor, yeah. like, yes, like he just literally like he just, won yeah. Napoli there. Like, it's amazing. Look at Toby and Musa. Like, we have amazing people in in business, yeah, in tech, yeah, entertainment. in sports, in entertainment. <laughs> yeah, there's so many things to talk about, but let's go. Let's go. Let's go. break. Okay. Kajo kajo kajo, kayo kayo kajo. Uya me ya le uo sa o kumi o. Uya me ya, uya me ya. Bad 
guys, and we're still on today's topic, which is talking about the trials and challenges faced by Nigerian youth as they transition into adulthood. Let's talk about support system and how important it is for Nigerian youth to have support system. And we mean support system, we're talking about family, we're talking about friends, we're talking about yeah. people, mentors around them, because that can be the difference between a successful youth and someone that is a failure, how their support system is. And I feel like parents need to pull back on the pressure they put on their, on their kids. kids and just be happy for your kids. Because yeah. when you see stories of people doing crazy things, it's always, my parents told me not to study this, I'm not no. doing what I want to do. Or I feel like you just let your kids grow, or I don't even know if that's possible, but expectation, you need to bring that decision. Like, down because you know having the, expectation those people are human beings don't come and visit that even you yourself could not meet could not up not bless you like Please. putting high hopes on them like giving them the expectation like you have to do this you have to do that let putting them choose what on, they want on your to on do. your daughters to Give do certain things and, and then you're not worried when they now do wrong things because you've put so much pressure on them you know most nigerian kids are even scared age. of even telling their parents about what they want to do because like yeah. if they tell them something like this they'll be like no don't do this and it will kill their self-esteem it's like kill the mora. So like if they come to you, this is what I want to do. As a parent, you sit them down and say, you want to uh, go into music, okay. Even though you don't like like the thing he wants to do or the person wants to do, you can tell him, okay, you want to go into the mu into music industry. Do this, do that, Believe and make sure you do something school. else in case this one doesn't go the way it's supposed to go. You can switch to the other, other one. Well, just and don't shut down. Like yeah, don't just. Dreams, yeah, depression. it's not good. Because like it's it's really like prevalent in Nigerian society. Like mm. just shut down like dreams and like aspirations. You see so many people. Oh, I wanted to like be in music and stuff, and they tell you, oh, my parents said no, they are not going to pay. Or you see students are saying, oh, I wanted to study mass comm, and the parents would be like. My, see, my father is in this table because he told me only to study math. He said that that's not the cost. Shade. Well, guys, guys, let's not forget. In our transition into um, adulthood, you will encounter any problem, any corruption, any magma, when anybody not post and say or carry. Don't forget yeah, to flag sorry. them. <laughs> we have the flag it app on the Apple Store, the Play yeah. Store. Download it, you know, and we have different agencies ready to take up your case and give you the justice you deserve. So. Anybody when you want to make your transition in their suits, Oga, Madam, you don't come flag and flag them. It. Flag them, flag them and flag it up. Come on, flag it. Samuel, you know, Samuel, number one in the game. Okay, so I want to flag what I want to flag is the Shionkuti's um, oh. um, slap. Shionkuti's slap, the slap he gave the police officer. Oh, God. We are not here to support the slap. Bam. We are not here to say what he did was right. Bam. But you to think of it, what will make a citizen slap a police officer? I feel what he did. I feel, I did. Yeah, I, I feel, feel I feel a lot of disrespect happened. He, what he did was wrong. Yeah, we have no, we wrong. have no right to slap. No, so, I will not. No, no. no. Let me, and so, I am in number one hitter of Shimukuti. If you wake me by three a.m., I will be awake. Oh, but this one, he's he the did. number one. This this policeman was. You know, that's the worst part. He was. You know, you know, you know. The, the video this is not complete. Was we got, that was, that was yes, not complete. Yes, we only saw the video. Why? Do you see that? Have you seen the video of Shion Kuti say he slaps policemen on a regular? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he does it. it. He slaps them as a, as a power move to slap policemen as a power no, move. But you know, there's strong, something well, they call trauma. He grew, up, he grew up with police harassment from his grandmother to his father to him. So this is what he has been experiencing since so when what, he was a so kid. So what we are saying now is... It's not that we're... That's what, he, allowed to bully no, 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 that's what I'm saying that no. we're not in support of what he did. Yes. But for him to slap a police officer, Immediately after that, um, that video went uh, viral. Good. When we made that, um, that video went viral, 
there were two videos posted the next day about police officers harassing Brutalizing. Like, like there was came. one that he hit on his head. He started oh, bleeding because and, of what? And, his bike. And yes, they were there was a lady they were with him. I don't so understand. Like, how he do you expect the police to get respect? Let me say, let me say this. For the yes. first time, yes. <laughs> and I'm going to. I'm not even. I'm not even joking. I'm not supporting any of them. The only thing that the police did wrong was co going to pick up, pick him up in his house, in his house without breathing his rights. They, they didn't even like arrest him properly. They just held him there. That was not right. They, they, they literally went to his house in the middle of the night. Like I don't understand why police. They would do things in the night. I see their back. They <laughs> cannot hold out. Oh, oh early hours in the morning. Like, like you know that that they know you'll be dead. They know they you'll be, be dead. dead. They know that. They know the hours you'll be at. Oh, home. what about? And you know like, they'll be tracking like, you. Go to the court and get a proper warrant so you can go and meet this person where he is and actually show him. Oh, you've been like. Treating like a human being, yeah, the Nigerian police my treat, is, my your, treat your people you like, just, beca just because you don't want to I said you are in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> but, but my, but my own is, zone. I can never my own is that video because has I, better I can't say you because you're not supporting police me. men are harassing people in Nigeria. No, let's not, let's not pass I do not know that part. I do not know that policeman personally. I do not know his family. So why are you slapping? I don't understand. So because I've been. That's, that's the very but you know they said he was he was actually I have been he was actually intoxicated. The they said he was intoxicated. For me to not even so because I was harassed in Lagos in police. What's I from the a, news? A, a policeman in Abuja should slap me. Rena, from the harassed. news, they that said was, the man okay, was yeah, intoxicated. Yeah, that was that was where he was at. The they call. said he because was now it's more like now. Imagine so he was, was even drunk on top of the police officer. The police officer was intoxicated. Wow, amazing. But my is, you see, I feel like they are what what he did was wrong slapping the police officer but police officers are beginning to stir up this um this um disrespect for themselves that's what i'm saying because after that a lot of videos are coming out even value posted it like three officers like came Faust, they said, they a woman said, okay, outside we, we, and nobody could help but everybody was watching right. the way video me because you know that if they get involved police officers too you know they are wild now look at my involvement like hey, why would you like now you know there's, with king? there's a protest going on in, right. in a legal self for sure and then you're that man with your sticks he, this guy was bleeding. He was bleeding. And then the and video went, like, and they were still trying to take it. He was trying to. Because this bike is livelihood. And I did I saw other bike men in that video. So I don't I don't see I don't see I don't see it as the guy driving the bike be him being um being wrong by driving his bike or making a living out of his bike. But even if you want to seize his bike, even if you did something wrong, you want to seize his bike. No beat. You put, there were like three hitting him on his head and taking his bike. This guy is <laughs> and people that were there. We're still telling him he should go after them, he should follow them, should yeah, let them yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. The police officer was very noble with police cars. I was running like this, I was running like this. This guy that they stopped to enter, <laughs> hit the guy the guy was building, left him there. What if they had hit him on a delicate spot and the guy had died on the spot? That was all. Like, what, what why, why, why must police officers continue to brutalize every single person? And they expect everybody to respect them. I'm not but saying, I'm not saying disrespect police officers. No, I'm not saying please obey them, they are the officers, officers of the law. Please obey them. But I messed up. No, 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 no. And, and police officers. That's what happens when you give people power. We are going to have a, a bunch of people that have power hungry. That is normal. But I would never support anybody laying their hands on anybody. I, I wasn't raised that way. I'm so sorry. As long as you are working or someone you are in a position above me, I'm going to give you that respect. But give me the respect. I'm not going to say because the police, of, police officers are. I don't know that police officer personally. So why should I put all of them in a, in a this thing? I'm so sorry, but as a Nigerian, I don't. I don't want to. Generalize people because that's what they do to us. Because police so officers should generalize, generalize everyone at the same time. I refuse to. I and that is what makes me better than them. Yeah, because if they see a guy now, they say yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Just because police officers that's. go low doesn't mean I have to go low with them. I'm better than them. See, see these police officers like. What's not the point? What's the point? You once I was coming back from church that evening. They were just they just stopped at the junction and they packed packing people. I come back from church and like enter, and like I said, enter to where. He's like, come on, enter. What is all she? Because I was couldn't erase this. So I was like, so I'm just coming from church. So he's like, I said, so I see my Bible. I have to bring out my Bible. Like, eh, oh, na church. Oh yeah, they go. I could see their car was full. Which see, ones? we people that they were just parking on the road. Like you're passing, you're passing, they're parking you. You get? See, it's like, see, guys, if you know that police have you one or the other, go to social media and please come and flag it. Yes, yes. Please don't take on our Twitter page, don't take matters into your hands. Instagram or Facebook, on our TikTok. Please come and flag. Let's talk about. I think we need to have an episode fully on police brutality because really, no, because that day I was pain. Para para. And they even stopped me again another day. I was like, how? That day I was on bike. Let me flag my own. They stopped my bike and like, bring your phone. I was like, and what is there? No, 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 I was on five, like, go outside checking 
of your phone oh, and, like and everything. Like no, it's no. actually annoying. Oh, my God. We need to work on like, I brought the topic. I don't even allow me to talk. Yeah. We're, helping, we're helping you to flag your week. We're okay. helping you to flag Let me flag my week. So, I'm just, I was sick last week. Oh, so yeah, yeah, that's true. I am someone that I have an allergy, so I'm allergic to ibuprofen. It doesn't work for me. I've noticed for a while. So I went to the pharmacy and I told the woman there that oh please I need painkillers but not ibuprofen. She's like, oh why? And I was like, oh, because I have allergies to ibuprofen. And she goes, then she tries to, she dismisses my pain and goes, What kind of pain are you having? Or that ibuprofen cannot cure. All of it are like for me and west westernized which one is allergies not that allergies for oibo people i don't understand she gave me drugs apparently it was ibuprofen in it and i took it because i told this woman don't give me ibuprofen i am allergic to ibuprofen and she's, she's like a nurse there right? and i literally ended up in the hospital obviously because ibuprofen yes, no, doesn't ibuprofen doesn't reduce my pain it makes it like 10 times worse we need, to, apart from the police system, in our Nigeria, healthcare system, our healthcare system in Nigeria. Who oh, that actually, reminds actually, me? If they're not squeezing trending. their faces, if they're not squeezing their faces, like I said, they're forcing them to walk. <laughs> First of all, should they start doing one with the cross attitude? Like, yeah, like, I'm, rude, I'm not fighting like, with you. Like, why are you I'm so I'm not feeling when I came to you. Like, you are supposed to like even tell me, okay, sit down, what's wrong with you? Like, speak to me in a way that okay. Let me let me hear what's wrong with you. Okay, you don't like this. You're allergic to it. Okay, what do you want to use? Some some but at the end day, you just say. Okay, the pharmacist is telling me allergies is is <laughs> oimbo. Is that oimbo? Okay, okay so what was? And they can be rude. Let me add. Let me add. There's something that's trending on TikTok. Okay, I think yes. I don't mention junior. And it has to do with healthcare system. It has to do with healthcare system, please. Ah, the university is the university. I don't want to call the university name. So this guy was sick. His friends took him to the school clinic, it's a private university. He took him to the school clinic. You know, private, you can't go out without pass. Yeah. Took him to school university. And doctors there said they couldn't treat him. Because I don't know. Maybe this maybe whatever was wrong with him was, was too much for them. And usually they schools treat him. don't have all those yeah, yeah, um, stuff. Yeah. So but at least let him take him outside to a nearby hospital, right? Okay, please let's use your it's, it's normal. The school will obviously need to provide their provide, ambulance yeah, so that they can rush him. It's an emergency. The ambulance said they don't have four. Wow. The guy was in the car for two hours. Wait, what? Why did they have one? Why did they only have one? The guy was in the The guy was in the, guy was in the mean, ambulance they for two hours. Empty. They couldn't provide for. They couldn't provide another car alternative. For two so hours. So after two hours, they now brought they now brought the car to take him out. They got to the school gate and do you know what the, the, the security men told them? That they're not going to let them pass without a permit. And someone is sick. And someone is dying, someone not is sick. Dying. Someone is dying. And the guy died in the car before they could get out of the school to get oh to the hospital. God. And now they're protesting for the guy. If only they could provide if they, there was no there was no um the, if the doctor if, if uh, the doctor and the other medical practitioners in the school or the lecturers or whoever whoever was in the school, I was stressed my name about the student and could at least volunteer that even if there was no fall in the ambulance, that guy would have lived. If yeah, only the like school, that school security guy was reasonable enough, who will be lying that he wants to die for every day to get out of school? We just do things. And the guy is a young, and promising think, guy. Oh. And he just died. You know what? We one day we're going to have a conversation, in an episode about private schools in Nigeria. Yeah, because our time is almost up. So let's because just need to be uh, honestly. A lot of things are really, really this sad. This episode was, was, is a lot because I'm upset. That was just like first episode of life, and this guy has lost his life. Find promising words. young guy. For negligence, I'm talking to you guys. Really? Okay, I don't even know what to say. Really? It's just so. Honestly, really? guys, this episode has literally it's been sad. like eye opening. I've learned so much, you guys. I'm sure it's, it's the same for you. Yeah. Is there sure. anything you guys want to add before we leave? Because this episode has been a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's still upset. I'm adding, I'm adding, 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 you can binge watch this weekend. Yeah, yes. and don't forget to flag, please. Thank, Thank you. you guys for joining us this see week. You can't see time. you next week. Bye, my name is Rena. My name is Faith, and you have your you done Samuel. <laughs>